hello my dear phd students this is for uh, english phd today i am uh, to discuss the journey of literary criticism and literary theory from plato to contemporary according to your phd syllabus coursework syllabus unit 1 however in our uh, previous classes i have uh, described it uh, in a uh, in a short manner short term being uh, more focused on uh, the technicality and keywords uh, which uh, might be a little problematic for you because until or unless you know the subject the term the the whole gamu of the literary journey the critical journey the theoretical journey so it might be uh, a little uncomfortable for you to understand and digest and it may not be uh, so palatable for you so in this lecture i will try to mention uh, briefly because this is a very very long uh, subject and topic uh, from uh, 525 bc approximately 2500 years to the contemporary time it is not easy to uh, give a full description uh, but however to make uh, this uh, discussion uh, palatable for you uh, i will uh, discuss from a very famous and uh, an authoritative uh, work um, uh, of m a m a r habib who is authority of uh, this topic and uh, without going to any other books or other consultation because they will all provide you the same uh, but habib has uh, written the book that is the literary criticism from plato to present it's a um, anthology it's a combined anthology which will give you a detailed uh, description detailed knowledge about uh, the topic so a literary journey has started uh, from plato it is a classical literary criticism classical remember classical classical means old traditional but still in use and still valid still um, it is uh, it is uh, considerable and it is considered by um, the 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 teachers over here so the classical literary criticism uh, from plato uh, who was born in 428 bc and uh, died in 347 bc and then aristotle who was born in 384 bc and died in 322 bc then it comes uh, the the traditional rhetoric okay what is rhetoric rhetoric is a style of talking style of speech however rhetoric in today's english language is used as the ornamental use of or uh, usage of, uh, of 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 words figure of speech okay they they are called figures of speech like uh, simile metaphor these are uh, treated as rhetoric okay and then um, comes the greek and latin criticism greek and latin criticism during the roman roman empire during roman empire uh, that uh, that lasts from uh, 65 uh, bc to 8 bc 65 bc to 8 bc then it comes the medieval era medieval era okay the the early middle age 
the latter middle age uh, that is called humanism in latter mid middle age it comes the human humanism okay then it comes the early modern period of enlightenment uh, enlightenment okay and early modern period of enlightenment uh, for example the intellectual background the the current con the confronting classical heritage that the classic people those who had classical conception um, they uh, had argument and they were not uh, uh, not accept, accept accepting the old one and the new one those who want to nullify the existent uh, existing um, theory then comes the neo classical neo classical in 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 french in france and in england then comes enlightenment 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 is a different history in literature as well as in uh, art and culture in europe it started in italy okay and spread in france and england uh, enlightenment gives the, the the language imagination then uh, after that it, it it gradually comes to um, after chaucer it, it gradually comes to uh, the aesthetic um, department of kant and hegel immanuel kant of uh, 18th century and hegel though they, they were uh, friends then comes the romanticism and 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 the latter 19th century romanticism okay romanticism what is romanticism and how does it uh, how how is it implied or how it is um, used in um, literary criticism and theory that romanticism um, in in today's world in today's conception uh, to the general people it is um, it is romance means love uh, it is actually not romanticism uh, means to departure from the tradition uh, to break the shackle to break the chain look at the poems of wordsworth look at the poems of other four great uh, romantic poets you will see uh, before romanticism maximum the literature the poems uh, they were written on uh, on religion or religious flavor on either on jesus jesus christ and other okay so it became very very cliche so a group of poet they wanted to show they wanted to express their own sorrow own idea own life own the nature okay uh, because they wanted to go close to the nature because just before we, they have seen um, the industrial revolution okay and uh, everything was going to uh, mechanism mechanical life so romanticism spread in uh, germany uh, france england and america though america was far away from uh, uh, england but however romanticism in england and romanticism in america they are the little different world romanticism Uh, i am not going to discuss the romanticism of american romanticism which was also in 1800 uh, something 1830 around okay contemporary but that was another uh, channel okay then comes the realism naturalism uh, symbolism <laughs> 
aestheticism, historical background, okay. Then heterological thinker, heterology, different thinker, okay. Uh, different uh, thinker like uh, Frederick Nietzsche, okay, Henry Bergson, Bergson. There was a debate between the philosophy of Bergson and Rabindranath Tagore. In Rabindranath Tagore's um, Gitanjali, there uh, was a, a bunch of poems uh, that speaks about life and journey and uh, and uh, moving on. Okay, Bergson. Uh, and uh, Rabindranath Tagore, they had a slight different uh, aspects. Mm, for example, you can mm, discuss about uh, the poem written by Rabindranath Tagore, the Taj Mahal. Okay, it was written in uh, Bengali, but later on it was translated into English in Gitanjali, a song of earnings. Henry Bergson, Matthew Arnold. Okay, uh, Arthur Schopenhauer. Arthur Schopenhauer. Then comes the 20th century, okay. 20th century literary uh, criticism was not, uh, not prevailing because literary criticism was little classical, little old traditional evaluation of any writing, okay. Uh, major uh, thing was that um, literary criticism used to describe the uh, artistic application of words, the um, the the, uh, the the composed uh, composition of uh, the poem, the usage of uh, words, um, usage of um, rhymes, usage of uh, rhetorics, prosody, okay, but 20th century had uh, a profound uh, implication on major two incidents uh, of history, one is First World War and the Second World War. The, the, the writer, the poets, they started writing about uh, the consequences of horror of uh, war. Okay, Wilfred Owen, if you can, uh, we can if, you, if you can recall the poem of Wilfred Owen, who himself was um, a soldier. Later on, he became a poet. Uh, and if you can remember the the poem. Uh, the send off by Wilfred Amen. Okay, so beautiful um, words, beautiful um, uh, phrases have been used by him, uh, like rhetoric, like uh, oxymoron. Okay, their faces grimly gay. So when the soldiers are going um, to fight for their country, and they are uh, standing beside the train and their father and mother, their wives and children, they have come to uh, tell them adieu, okay, tell them goodbye um, at their faces and they are provide, they are giving them a sweet, they are giving them garland, they are giving them uh, the vase, the flower. Uh, so their faces is grimly gay, that means their faces is, uh, it, 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 it describes two feelings, grim and, 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 and gay, okay, on the one side they are happy because they are going to fight for their country and on the other side they are also very unhappy because they are, they are, they are leaving their kith and kin, their dear and near ones, okay. Uh, so this is, uh, and also the horror of um, war. Um, written by uh, Ezra Pound, okay, T.S. Eliot, T.S. Eliot, uh, W.B. Yeats. So these are the 20th century and 20th century uh, discusses more on 
da 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 the artistic uh, the the psycho motor the psycho uh, logical aspects because by the time uh, the the book book of uh, the book of uh, the french uh, linguist his name is uh, psychoanalysis theory okay the psychoanalysis theory um, was already uh, published so they had it the book had a, a, a tremendous tremendous uh, influence on the contemporary and the modern uh, writers okay so uh, psychoanalysis uh, mm, yeah. the marxist the marx okay uh, the theory of marx that is dialectic materialism theory of marx the dialectic materialism the proletariat the russian proletariat movements that is the have nots the haves and have not the clash between the haves and the have nots okay and um, then uh, the stream of consciousness virginia wolf okay the stream of consciousness james joyce novel ulysses mm, uh, then then came the phenomenology okay existentialism structuralism uh, these phenomenology phenomenon okay natural phenomena how uh, people can think out out of out the box and um, the the thinking process uh, differs from man to man reader to reader okay existentialism your existence how do you exist uh, how how is your um, how is your um, how is your time how is the day uh, was there were you living in peace harmony or in the horror of um, uh, war or disorder of the society okay structuralism means how you are going to write a text how you are going to write a text okay so uh, syntactical grammatical and syntactical um, nuances were discussed for example um, the usage of verb in 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 english for example if i tell the sentence like the old man the boat the old man the boat uh, to the indian reader it will appear a very wrong sentence they will think it is a wrong sentence to man the boat where is the um, where is the subject and where is the verb okay um, the old man the boat sorry the the sentence is the old man the boat so where is the subject where is the verb but if you read it properly you will you will see if you think uh, from other perspective structure your your mental structure if you if you read uh, the sentence uh, the old man the boat it is a 100% correct sentence okay because the old is the uh, subject the old means the old people the old means the old people when you say the rich means the rich people here the old means the old people man man is the verb manning means to row man here we indians used to think man as a noun man and mean but no man is also can be used also as a verb okay so the old man the boat so this so this is syntactical um, uh, applications uh, in writing a particular uh, uh, word or sentences or fees fees or phrases mm, that also uh, signifies the understanding level of um, a reader okay and then comes the post structuralism post modernism uh, feminism 1960 feminism 1960 it was started in 1960 in america okay feminism so uh, uh, wodlier is very very big figure okay uh, wodlier uh, jean wodlier um, is in france okay and uh, then uh, comes um, the the post colonial criticism uh, cultural studies 
okay orientalism orientalism so these are the journey uh, these are the 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 topics that we have to cover we will discuss not in detail but in part so that you can understand uh, because tomorrow when you are going to do your phd in english this knowledge will be required by you um, in application so if you go for the bloom's taxonomy okay bloom's taxonomy this knowledge will be in uh, three and four group okay you have to apply the knowledge you have to um, realize the knowledge and apply the knowledge you have to understand and apply understand and apply structuralism as i told you you have to understand structuralism and you have to apply if i if i give you a poem to judge okay so you have to apply tomorrow if you are going to discuss your phd in um, the romantic poetry or the modern poetry okay uh, t s eliot okay the poet the poem of till t s eliot if you want to uh, discuss Uh, the wasteland okay the wasteland uh, so you have to apply these uh, technique you have to apply you which technique you have to uh, apply for your uh, uh, discussion so this is uh, today's video please listen to this video and try to note down the topics that you need these are according to strictly according to your syllabus of your phd course work so uh, listen to it and on friday uh, when we will discuss i will ask questions from this so until then uh, goodbye and uh, take care of yourself thank you